Today's Spotlight is brought to you in part by presenting sponsor, First Community Financial Bank, the community bank where you come first. Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm your host, Jane Wernett. I'm joined now by Rebecca and Raleigh, both members of the DePage Bar Foundation Board of Directors. So welcome to Spotlight. Thank you. Thank you. We're glad to have you, and I'm excited to get to know a little bit more about your organization. So I'm going to start with you, Rebecca. What is it? What is the DuPage Bar Foundation? Well, the DuPage Bar Foundation is actually the charitable arm of the DuPage County Bar Association, which is the association of attorneys in DuPage County that practice there. It, uh, it began 20 years ago. We're very proud to be celebrating our 20 year anniversary this year. Congratulations. Thank you. And its mission is really to support um, the accessibility of justice in our community by giving scholarships to deserving law students and by supporting organizations that help the general public access, access the legal system. Okay, well that's great and it's interesting that you're associated and it's a charitable, a charitable arm. I think that's always very fascinating when associations, you know, help support by having a foundation. Yeah, that's absolutely. wonderful. That's great. Now Raleigh, talk a little bit about your fundraising. Where do you get your funds from? How much do you raise? Well, our, we have very generous members of our organization. Um, our biggest fundraising event is actually happening tomorrow. We have a big holiday breakfast, um, and we have a raffle, and we have, we, that's our biggest uh, one, as I said. We have um, a golf outing with another raffle. We love raffles because okay. we all like to win. We always <laughs> love to win. Um, we have the human race that uh, we started uh, participating in a couple of years ago for the more athletic people. Okay. Um, and then we also have hosted scholarships. Um, which allow people to direct funds directly to a scholarship or a worthy recipient. Okay, tell us a little bit more about that, the hosted scholarship. I think that's an interesting term. Sure, it actually, it's our third year. It's a newer program. Um, the board, it was one of our board members that decided it would be a great idea if law firms or corporations or even members of the public could directly gift a scholarship either in the name of their law firm or in the name of someone that has passed as a memorial. And we do their advertising for them, so they give the gift. The board then picks a worthy recipient, and we do all the advertising for them to be the hosted scholarship giver. And then they come to our uh, annual installation and give the scholarship. So it's, it's turned out to be a really nice program. Yeah, I think well, it sounds like both, for both the giver and, and also, obviously, for the receiver. Absolutely, because yeah. it allows the foundation then to have one full scholarship already funded and we can then either give out more funds or save those funds to build them for the future years. Okay. And Raleigh, how much, how much have you made for over the last year? Last year we raised $35,000 that um, we've invested some of it, which has been a new part of our foundation, has been directing it towards investments as well as giving out money for scholarships and grants. Okay. And so give me some examples of who you support. Well, we obviously support de deserving law students, and you'd be shocked at the quality of applicants we receive, and, and quite a nice pool. But in addition to that, we support organizations like CASA and NAMI and Family Shelter Services, mm -hmm. to name a few. Those are actually our grant recipients this year. Um, and they're really organizations that either directly allow people access to the legal system or allow them access to programs that are necessary in order for them to be able to really participate and have access to justice. Yeah, I, all three of those organizations have been on the show and all very worthy. Yes. And certainly uh, I can appreciate why the money would be very helpful to them. The students that you give the scholarships to, are they all local? G give me some examples of who you've given, not necessarily the names of who you've given to, but what, what, what are their stories? Well, part of the criteria we're looking for is that they have a DuPage County connection. Okay. That's really important to us that as a DuPage County organization that we kind of tie them into being a part of our community. Um, but we pull from law schools all over the Chicagoland area. Yes. Okay, okay. IU, I mean, Northern Illinois, Loyola, I mean, we, we reach out to all of the law schools in Illinois to let people know that 
they have the opportunity to apply for Wonderful. one of our scholarships. That's exciting. And, and, and what do you, I'm sure some of those installations and those reactions from the students is amazing because that's a, it's a daunting, a daunting price to get there and a long, a long part of schooling. So I would imagine some very happy people. Yes. Yes. Very happy. It's, it's nice to offset the costs. Um, I was doing some research today just to make sure my numbers were right, and from 1985 to 2015, the cost of law school has gone up over 101%. Wow. 90% of students finance their law school right now, and the average person at the end of 2015 was graduating with just law school debt alone of over $140,000. Oh. That doesn't include what you might roll in from undergrad, which is close to $100,000 for a four-year program right now. So yeah. we have people that are walking out of law school with between two and three hundred thousand dollars worth of debt, which is yeah. mind-boggling. Yes, that's mortgage. almost like it's retirement. A I'm never going to retire. Yes, right? when yes. you're 60, you can buy a house because you might have paid off your student yeah, loans right. at that point. <laughs> right. And so we are we are so glad to be able to give something to these students to defray part of the enormous cost that they're incurring to become part of our legal community. Well, and I would think too, as a recipient, the fact that that money is coming from people who are already in the profession that they want to go into. I'm sure there's just an, a really good feeling about that um, because you're paying it you're paying it back and forward um, yes. in the sense that you've already done that, which is wonderful. Why are they so important? I mean, you talked a little bit about the, the debt, obviously, and the amount of money. Why else do you feel that scholarships are so important? Well, I think it's a it's a really worthy profession, just despite the bad jokes. Um, <laughs> it really, really is. and. I think everyone assumes that law students are coming out making a million dollars, and it's so not true anymore. Law school jobs are scarce, and it's a lot of hard work, and it's a rewarding profession. And so I think it is important to, to let those students know that we are trying to build a community of good lawyers, and we do want them to be part of it, and that their education should be rewarded. Yeah. And I think that's what our scholarships do. Well, and I think, as you talked about just, you know, the organizations that you're supporting and the work that you do within those organizations as a legal profession, profound and life-changing in many cases. So I think that's wonderful. How can the viewers support you? What, what can the viewers do? You know, obviously you mm -hmm. have support from your own organization, but what can the viewers do? Well, we are always grateful for any kind of donation. They can come out and support our events. They're, the public is always welcome to our golf outing. They can come run the human race with us. Um, they can contact the Bar Foundation. And if they have a scholarship that they'd like to, one of the hosted scholarships that they would like to gift in memor memory of somebody or to just donate in general, I mean, we are, we'll continue to reach out to the public um, and our, our community. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate I feel like I've learned a lot more, and you're obviously doing a lot of good work, and I wish you all the best in another anniversary year. It's been a show of anniversaries today, so <laughs> thank you so much for stopping by. Well, thank, thank you for you. having us. Um, if you would like to learn more about the DuPage Bar Foundation, please visit their website. We're going to take a quick break, but stay with us. We're coming right back with more Spotlight.